that active strategy that provides, do you think, investors advantage beyond the outperformance we just spoke of? I think active ETFs are, are coming to their to do their own, and I think there's not more than a hundred of them, but I think there's more and more that are coming uh, forward. Uh, I think it gives you the potential potential to outperform an index. Uh, I think it's the uh, you know it's the new wave of the future. It's funny though that it has taken a while. There's so many passive ETFs and, and new ETFs announced. It seems every day. How hard is it to actively manage an ETF, say, over an actively managed mutual fund? I think they're very similar. Um, I think with an active ETF, what you're basically doing is you're you're not trying to match an index, you're trying to outperform an index. And in, in the case of the Huntington, the index is the S&P 1500, so what we're trying to do is, is outperform it. Uh, and we do it, it's a unique way of doing it. Um, we have 70% benchmark to the S&P 1500, and then 30% rotates and it rotates them on the different sectors. And it's really a bet that there's enough volatility from the sectors that we can pick out um, sectors and stocks in the sectors that can outperform the index. Right now, healthcare is the biggest holding in terms of the rotation. Right. Any plans to rotate out of that? Not yet. We still like healthcare. Right? It's got um, some really interesting companies. Uh, the valuations are a little stretched, but uh, we think that they're going to continue to grow. Uh, and if you look at uh, healthcare um, relative performance, versus the S&P 1500, it just uh, broke out, out of a three-year trading range, so we think it has more upside. Technology, too, is also a very uh, high-level holding. What is going on in technology, which, you know, we know some investors really struggled in that sector not too long ago, so I'm not sure if you had an impact from that, too. We've seen a rebound, but the right. uh, beginning of the year was tougher. Yeah, it's, it's tougher, and it's um, not like the healthcare. It's, it's more of a struggle. But you know, it's had a really tough time, and um, it looks like it's finally turning the corner. And we like Apple Computer. We think that that's, I think, the biggest holding in the fund, and we really like it a lot. And if, if you look at Apple, you know, it had a really hard hit. It ran up, and then it ran down. I think it hit around 400, and now it's up to, I think, like 500. And um, Carl Icahn is touting it, and it has a lot of cash. And I think there's a decent dis uh, potential they're going to probably distribute some of that cash. So. We like Apple and uh, we would buy it here.